Hello and welcome to the first Lightwave 3D top tips. So the first tool we're going to look at is the move tool. It's one of the most used and simplest tools and it's simply for moving your object around your seam. So as you notice I'm doing this in the top, the back and the right view. So you never really do it in your perspective view because you're going to be moving it in a way so you might think it's over here on your left hand side but when you actually view it properly you've noticed you've also pulled it up in the air in the, the air as well so always do this in your top back and right view or your front and so on uh, as well as just moving objects at the bottom here where you've got points edges and polygons you can select a series of polygons points or edges and then you can use your move tool and again move the selected elements around as you wish and again this works in the same way with uh, points if I just select some points move as you can see and again with edges exactly the same let's just randomize it a bit and again I'm just pulling them using the move tool so with every tool you use in Lightwave most of them that is you if you press N on your keyboard or at the bottom go to uh, numerical what this will do is bring up the actual numerical panel which you can import the position use textures to influence the movement and also use different fall offs for this as well the move tools also uh, link to an action center here which based on which how you're using it you can select different ways of moving selections or the points or the origin or the local the mouse one is something that's default and usually it's the one I would I use the most unless I want to scale something uh, in, in its position which I would use a uh, local but that's as simple as the move tool is hope you enjoyed the top tip